My name is Evelyn Chopping. I'm 89 years of age. I suffered with um, atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation is very uncomfortable because the heart um, has very regular beating and, and um, uh, you find that any slight excitement, it just sends the heart haywire and it's very uncomfortable and then when it slows down you begin to feel a little faint um, which is a very odd feeling as most of us know. Didn't feel very well at all during Warfarin. Um, um, bit of an unexplainable sort of feeling, but not very fit. Energy levels seemed to disappear with me, and I, I was quite pleased to go to sort of get off the really. You have to visit the hospital very regularly, and sometimes every week, sometimes it might be a fortnight if the blood does retain a normal findings, but more often than not it um, fluctuates. Since I've been off Wolverine I've been feeling lots lot better. The first time I had a very bad dizzy spell and uh, I saw my doctor and she thought it was a TIA and so I had the usual procedure of going to the hospital having the usual tests, brain scan, etc. And that's what... Uh, but then it, that was OK uh, after that. I was quite well after that. It all disappeared. I had no paralysis in any of the limbs and nothing else. But five years later, that was in 1980, I, um, I had this terrible pain in my head. It was really excruciating, and I had double vision. I saw two husbands, and I thought, you know, it was really weird. And two, two people on television. General family concern, yes, they were worried. Um, but, um, you know, life just goes on. From my point of view, you know, I, I think, well, you know, this has just happened, and... But I never stayed in bed or anything of that nature. I never rested up. It did seem to be a, a little strange, <laughs> you know. And my own GP said, oh, well, I've never heard about it. So do think about it. It's another heart operation. And, um, well, I thought about it quite seriously and I thought, well, I thought it was worth it. He explained it very, very carefully about the blood clots and uh, the procedure, which seemed to be very simple, and it was. And uh, I, I thought and I had great confidence in him. I came home, you know, and just rested, really. My daughter was with me, and but after that she had to go home and go back to work, so... You know, one has to get on with it then. I do feel very well. I'm not very active because I can't walk all that far. But, I mean, I do go out with my daughter quite a lot. We go to the theatre and to Kingston. She takes me shopping. And um, I have a lot of friends who are always popping in. I'm surprised somebody hasn't knocked at the door now. If I was talking to someone and they were asking me, I would say, yes, go ahead, with great confidence. <laughs>